Well, today we'll go be going over the problem Team Tic-Tac-Toe from the 2018 U.S. Open December, uh, sorry, 2018 U.S. Open Bronze Contest. And so if you haven't already, I recommend you check out the previous video where I went over the problem and also the first hint. Um, and in this video, I'll just go over the solution to the problem. And so, uh, like we talked about, we have to check um, these possible scenarios, three rows, three columns, and two diagonals. And so, uh, you might think that um, given this, why don't we check um, these, I guess, combinations. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight. So, we just have to check eight things, and then check if one, all of these three, so if it's like um, this value, this value, this value, if these three values are all equal to each other or they're composed of two elements. And so that is pretty close to the solution, but um, there is a slight problem to that. Um, actually, let me just write it out. So what Yeah, so what might be wrong about this uh, potential solution? Um, yeah, okay. So if you've thought about it, um, I'll go over it. And the reason why this is wrong, although it's a very simple and seemingly correct solution, is that we want to find the number of, um, you know, individual two, team, two cow teams, and these have to be unique. So meaning if it's like um, A, B, C, and oh, no, let's see, A, B, B, and let's say down here it's B, B, A. So if we're using this solution, we check this row and we're like, oh, okay, this works. And then we check this row and we're going to be like, there's only two characters, two different characters, so this also works. So we count two, but in fact, it's actually just um, one because these two teams are technically not unique. And so how can we uh, account for this problem? It's that either we loop through every combination, so we loop through all the individuals and check. So for each individual um, character, we check these three. And then for each pair of letters, we check these three again. And so that's 26 letters times the 8, and then and then each 8 is 3. Or we can go N, or sorry, we also have to check 26 um, by 26, so each pair, and then times the 8 combinations, and each combination obviously has 3 elements for each thing. Um, and another way we can do it, if we want to stick to this, is keeping track of every, I guess, combination we've done. So I guess for that, we can keep a 26 by 26 array uh, to the array, and then also just a 26 array. So what we can do for this is for every column, we can loop through, and then let's say we have A and B, then we... Uh, a and B works, then we uh, increment counter and then we um, add, uh, sorry, mark the A and B combination as true in this array. And that can just be done by doing like, uh, uh, let's just say care C. Uh, we can do C um, if we're doing used of C minus. Are these upper? Oh, these are all uppercase. Okay. C minus A. And then if the other one is B, then we can do. Okay. Um, or 
changed. So we do something like this. And this way we can keep we we can get over the scenario of double counting and that would be a valid solution. Yeah. So that's basically the solution to this problem. Um and I'll go over the implementation in the next video, but I would recommend trying it out on your own before watching that. So yeah, thank you for watching.